Hi everybody, welcome to Buffet Minded. Today for Mother's Day, we are having a very special Mother's Day. We are gonna go to Berkeley's Golden Gate Fields, home of the racing, horse racing, but we are here for the Turf Club for a special Mother's Day brunch buffet. It's gonna be so exciting. Now, if we had come earlier, we could have been there for coffee and pastries, but you know what, sleep is always what I choose. Skyline of San Francisco. It's a beautiful day, but it's very windy right now. And here's the bay. See Golden Gate Bridge out in the distance. Maybe. <laughs> and really looking forward to this. I have to do a little special check in. Your security. Here we go. Up the stairs to the turf club. Of course, as usual, I get pulled out to be searched because no matter what, I always set off alarms or I'm the random one that they have to search. And here we go, up to the turf club, the special level for special people. It's beautiful. <laughs> this place is just huge and beautiful so much fun when you come in they offered us roses but I declined because I'm not I love flowers but I'm not much of a person for roses it's a little bit chilly with the window open but then the fresh air is so nice and here's the view of Berkeley and the Golden Gate fields I have no idea what this is all about <laughs> Hello, how are you? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, here is our first station. We thought we were going to be too late for pastry and coffee, but we're not. Look at this. Scones, my favorite. Oh my goodness. Look at the little muffins. Oh, I love how small everything is. Oh my goodness, look at the fruit. I just love when fruit is ready for me like this. Look at those raspberries and blueberries. Oh, I love honeydew. Look, it's a brunch. Look at the food. There's food too. We've got bacon and scrambled eggs. And coffee. Let's partake. Yes. So here is our plate number one. And we have, I got a scone, because I love scones, and different fruit. And the hubs got starting some breakfast, a brunch. We both got coffee. Of course, I got tons of creamer. And then I guess we get champagne for just being at this very seat. Oh, there goes the finger. Yeah, no fingers. Okay, to health and happy Mother's Day to me. Thank you. Oh, very nice. And now it's mimosa time. Let's see how this tastes. Oh, very good. Very nice. Let's see what kind of champagne we have. Mm. So, part of being at the horse races is betting on a horse. So, the first race starts at about 1.15, and the horses are Jerry Jeff Walker, De La Luna, Never Had I Ever, Gross Profit, Cut Across Shorty, and Lord of Light. We found out that never had I ever was three pounds overweight. Apparently that makes a difference because they went through all the horses and like all the nine races or however many there were and told who was overweight, which wasn't very friendly. So I really liked Jerry Jeff Walker. So that's the one that we chose. The odds are, well, they keep changing, but right now if you bet $2, you win five. Ten. Oh. Rich. 
Let's go. So apparently they have an ice cream bar. All different kinds of ice cream inside. And look, there's the toppings. Looks like caramel and strawberry sauce and nuts and fudge and, and big old cones. And then here's the bar for the much needed refreshments. So, we start this way? Yes, I would get these at the very end though. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, just so well, you don't have to carry things. I'm See, I was so excited. I grabbed my napkin and I just messed up everybody, which is typical. So here we go. We're walking in. Oh my gosh, look at this. So you get your big old plate and you proceed to the salad bar. Look at this beautiful, beautiful salad. dressings and beets and oh my goodness this artichoke does not have time so I will take this time and asparagus which I'm sure I will skip. I'm not much of a bread person, but it is absolutely gorgeous. And lots of cheese. Oh, and let's look at the view. Oh my goodness, the view is so beautiful. There's the Golden Gate Bridge. It's very, very windy today. Now we'll go over to the sushi station. See what kind of sushi we have. Oh, always have California rolls, which I really like. And salmon rolls. And look how pretty the wasabi uh, is. Got ginger. So here's what the hubs got. 
looks amazing, that thick piece of prime rib. Look at all that fat on it. And he did get the tuna roll, or maybe it's a salmon roll, and some of the pasta. He got one of the pieces of bread. And then here's what I got. I went back to the um, breakfast buffet and got the raspberries. But I'm very, very excited to try all this yummy food. So we've had some requests to watch us eating our food, which I guess they do that on videos, but <laughs> it seems so funny. But okay, so I'm going to try first this cheese tortellini. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. It's so buttery and the pasta is so light. It's a winner. I'm videoing me eating. Yeah. <laughs> And let's try some mashed potatoes now. Here we go. Mm, very nice. Could use a little more salt, but pretty good. So the horse race is about to start in one minute. And here the horses are walking up. Now I don't know much about horse racing, but I really like that the number three horse, his escort looks like Melly got the like golden coloring and the white face. So I'm gonna see if I can zoom in. Oh, here. Just watch it on the TV screen. There. Doesn't that horse look like Melly? That one. Oh, it's so cute. The little deer. There it is out there. Yeah. So we are choosing Jerry Jeff Walker, horse number one. Here he comes. Oh, no, man. He was ahead the whole time. Oh, the agony of defeat. Oh, man. Jerry Jeff Walker ended up coming in. What? I don't even know. I can't figure it out. I still don't know who won. Oh, darn. We lost. Just at the last moment, Dave, second place. First is worst, second is best, third is the one with the hairy chest. Yeah, that's 30 years of teaching the primary. So here's the second place, <laughs> much more modest than the first place. And here's the hubs also, much more modest. Come on! This time we vet, vet for Awesome June. These are six-year-old horses. And apparently, yeah, he's number four. And apparently, he's a long shot now. <laughs> when we chose him, he wasn't a long shot. But that's good. And we can make Buko bucks. Come on! We bet two dollars. He's at uh, ten odds or whatever that means. So, twenty dollars, I think. Let's go to the other side because there's different stuff. And on this side, we've got like a lemon chiffon cake, maybe a kind of a, I don't know, eclair, and some kind of maybe panna cotta. Oh, it's just so pretty. 
just can't wait to dive in. They've set it up so nicely. Very exciting. So, here we are with dessert. They have the lemon meringue tart, a chocolate mousse something, a raspberry mousse, maybe like a panna cotta, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's in this chocolate coffee cup, but it's adorable. Strawberry cake, chocolate cake, peak pedophore, and I don't even know, maybe some kind of a cheesecake. It looks amazing. I'm sure it will even taste better. Well, I can understand why it's boring if we don't take a bite in front of you. So here is the strawberry cake. Mmm, really good. So, I don't really like cake that much, so I'm not going to eat any more of it, but it was really good. It was very light and airy and delicious. Oh, the Hubs is about to have the lemon meringue pie. Let's see what he thinks. I think. Sugary, lemony. Sugary, lemony, mm, and good. Okay, so let's try this raspberry. Well, let's see what it is. Actually, can you pull it down for me so I can hold the camera at the same time? Thank you. Get each of the layers. Here it is. Oh, good. It's like a raspberry jam. It overpowers the flavor of everything else, but in a good way. Oh, and I just want to add that the people that were putting together the dessert area were so hardworking and so kind, and they were so happy that we were excited. So it was a very fun experience. So we're just going to finish off everything, or at least have a little of some everything before we go check out the ice cream bar. <laughs> so I had a bite of the lemon meringue tart, and it literally tastes like sugar, like granules of sugar are in it. Oh, the Hubs is about to try the chocolate mousse. Let's see what he thinks about it. Very chocolatey. Very chocolatey? Mm -hmm. Is it sugary or sweet or just perfect? It's sweet, but it, no, it's good. All right. So we're just loving this Mother's Day brunch buffet at Golden Gate. So I put my spoon into the coffee cup and I thought there would be like a mousse or something inside it. It's just whipped cream. So that's a little bit odd. This, as you can tell, I finished. It was so good. So everything is great. So if you need to take your mom somewhere or if you're a mom, come to the Golden Gate Fields Mother's Day brunch. It's amazing. And they might even have this every weekend, I don't know. Highly recommend, A plus.